Uh, hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Boomer, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, Jack 3 Any% Percent Hero Mode, also known as NG+. Um, this is a rather unexpected thing, I haven't had any practice for this, and the game's going to be in German. I hope, you're, hope you guys are alright with that. Um, the Hero Mode file starts off by uh, loading up the Hero Mode file, and uh, I pull out the memory card so that uh, we have a nice way to start the run, I guess. Once the memory card's pulled out, um, almost ready to go. As, as soon as I hit X on the controller, I'll, um, yeah, I'm going to start the run. So, run's going to start in uh, 3, 2, 1, now. Alright, let's go. Yay! <laughs> so, um, I haven't, haven't had any practice for this as it was rather unexpected I was going to do this. Uh, at the uh, beginning of this mission, uh, in the training course, you are supposed to hover out, or actually, you're supposed to collect all of these tokens, but by uh, having the jet board early on, um, you can hover out of the arena that's going to despawn all the tokens for you, so there's no need to collect them. Um, Hero mode is essentially having everything from your previous playthrough, uh, yeah, having all the weapons and uh, upgrades from your previous playthrough. And um, so with that, we're going to blast through the game uh, pretty fast. There's a quick setup I'm going to be doing here. Um, I won't go down to six of these guys. Um, and not more. Because if I were to kill the, the, the last one until we're down to five, uh, I would turn into Dark Jack. Uh, but we're not going to do that. I'm instead going to shoot one of this, these right here. Oh, and I just realized I did mess up. <laughs> it's not too bad though. Um, it's a tiny skip I missed. You can actually hover up here to the platform where I just was, or rather to where we're gonna go now. And uh, from here you can shoot the, uh, the weapon I just I just shot to kill all these uh, marauders in the arena. So right here we received the blaster mod, which we already have actually. And um, instead of going through the game as intended, we're gonna go through... Um, Oh, we're gonna do um, a quick death warp here. We're not gonna um, trigger the mission as intended. That uh, that's located on the minimap. But instead, we're gonna go um, into the room, in into the into into the small area. Make sure that we're uh, spawning outside of where we are currently. And since we have all the vehicles unlocked already, we can go into the garage and just pick the Dune Hopper. And um, we have turbos and stuff, so. We can just get to the, um, the the Monk Temple, which is one of one of the key missions for uh, the speedrun, uh, pretty fastly. So we're gonna use the Dune Hopper and a bunch of zoom, a bunch of boosts and jumps to get there. Whoops! All right. So these marauders, uh, in th these guys in the vehicles, we call them marauders. Uh, they are trying to get up close and uh, mess a bit with us, trying to do some damage. But we're just gonna jump over them mostly. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> Anyhow, on our way to the uh, to the temple. There's a, there's a quick jump we're going to attempt here. It's called the island hop. We are, we're going to skip a few islands with that. And it was a perfect landing. And um, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm not going to attempt it. But there's a way to get into the temple uh, by jumping and boosting into the water here. Uh, so, sorry everyone who thought that was going to happen here. No, um, no, no water death warp. We're instead going to go to the to the temple as intended. Jump over the small gap here. Get out of the car. And then uh, we're going to go into this mission right here as as intended. Although we aren't supposed to be here right now anyways. Quick cutscene and uh, instead of going up these, um, these flagpoles and stuff, we're not going to do that. We're going to go out of bounds here and skip into the temple. Oof, 
All right, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna skip into the temple, go out of bounds, stay out of bounds, and make the lower area of the temple load. I'm gonna take this rather slow here. Once you clip out of bounds, you gotta go back. And I'm using the jet board and the hover glitch uh, that I'm gonna abuse right here. Uh, we're gonna load in the temple, the, uh, another part of the temple. All right, that should work already. First person real quick. Make sure I get the checkpoint up here, because we need that. Then I'm gonna fall to my death. Oh, that looked interesting. Um, I'm gonna make a quick safety save, just to be sure we're not gonna mess this up. Oops, that I... Let me actually uh, go back here, put the memory card back in. Save real fast, so we, uh, we're extra sure. <laughs> Let's overwrite uh, this file real fast, there's no point in it. I didn't pull the memory card back out. Once again, this is just for safety, uh, as the uh, the next skip that I'm about to do here uh, could potentially kill the run and would make it needlessly long. So you can hover, or th there is like a big invisible wall here that's a cutscene trigger, but you can hover over it. Uh, there's also another way where you can uh, use the concussor gun that we have uh, from our pre- Oh, that was close. <laughs> Stupid um, flame holder thingy, I don't even know what, what it's called. Uh, and you basically just warped yourself, this is like a really huge percentage warp right here, you just warped yourself to 83% uh, of the game. Um, and here we are, we are like in one of the, the last missions of the run, <laughs> essentially. So instead of taking the vehicle here, we're just gonna um, use the Peacemaker to startle real quick. Um, as destroying the vehicle here puts you back uh, into the garage, and uh, we're going to be using that. We're going to be uh, we're going to be we're going to be going back, um, and we're going to use this. Um, well, what's it called? A carrier. I had to go back to Haven City, which, uh, if you played Jack Two before, this is probably where most change. of uh, Jack Two's activity happens. So we're going to get a zoomer here um, and trying to get away from these guards real quick. Because I attacked them by the, uh, by accident. All right, and now it's just um, some driving to the um, to another later later part of the game. There are a few other bounces you can do though. Uh, one being over here, right here. All right, cool. Got that. It's a quick death warp you can do. Puts you a bit further into the game. That was not so nice. Bonged right into the guy. Oh, I should have kept on the. Should have stayed on the jet board here. Okay. Jeez. All right. In case you're wondering what the, uh, what this trick is that I'm doing, uh, this one right here, this is called the hover glitch, and um, it's basically a trick cancel that allows you get infinite height. Um, I just kind of dropped my inputs right here. That was a death warp we were able to do, but we're not gonna go there. We're just gonna go to where the death warp would have put us, which is around here-ish. And then from here, there's a uh, yet another death warp we can do. By hovering over here and then turning the camera in um, sort of this way, uh, we're also going to spawn further into the level. If everything works as, as intended, apparently didn't. Let's uh, try that again. Alright, dropping the inputs here, interesting. Let's see how that goes. Alright, that could work. Yep, there you go. So this is where it should have put us the first time around. So that was my fault though. So there was this um, big white barrier that you guys never uh, saw in the first place that we just skipped with that. Um, eh, that one's an interesting angle, but I'll, sure, I'll take it. Now right here, we're gonna hover into the palace runes. And... Um, Around here, I should be getting off. 
Um, I need to make sure I hit a certain checkpoint, which is around over here, and if uh, done properly, like that, um, that's gonna load in the next area. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm not too sure if I should have. Um, I've I've had this happen before, where uh, the, the game soft locked. So um, I'm just gonna take the death right there to be sure the uh, uh, the later part of the level was loaded in properly. All right. So here I'm gonna take it another uh, death real quick. Yep. And then here's um a nice hover to the end I'm gonna be doing. Uh, that angle was a bit off. Alright, let me try that again. Probably also off, yeah no. Let's just not do that one. <laughs> let's go let's go this way instead. Almost. Okay, that's fine. The jump right there is uh, rather precise. There's a huge invisible wall, or not huge, but there's a there's an invisible wall that prevents you from going that way. Should work. Yeah, that, there you go. And then let's go to the end, of the section. Hi, right, there you go. Nice. So that was Palace Ruins. Look alive, Jack. And here's probably one of the hardest missions in this run. Uh, the uh, oh no, you can probably tell why already. <laughs> At least this is really hard for me. Um, uh, this is the um, Breach the Ruins mission, and uh, you are put into this big chunky vehicle that you gotta maneuver around here. All right, we gotta destroy these pillars as they uh, power um, an energy shield wall. A barrier, rather. I'm trying to get past. Alright. There's a small skipper can jump over the, um, the small hill, the small gap. Also, if you land really poorly um, with this vehicle, there's a chance you're gonna insta blow up, which is obviously really terrible. Because if you do that, you gotta start all over again from the uh, from the beginning here. So there's a small skip you can do. It's not supposed to look like this, but uh, I guess it gets the job done. <laughs> all right. Okay, so destroy yet another barrier. Oh, nice slide. Look out, Jack. Okay, so here's another one. And another one. So this barrier should be down too now. And when you jump and boost, that's probably the best way to get around um, in this vehicle. Terrain in this game, or in this level specifically, is really tricky. There's a lot of stuff you can get stuck on, as you saw previously. Right here, we're going to be doing these out of order, I suppose. Because uh, casually, you're not intended to make these jumps. I think. <laughs> I think so. Alrighty, let's get uh, put the bridge down. Not fall off, that would be terrible. Alright, destroy this one too. And over here, this should be the, uh, the last one. And that's it. That's, um... Uh, breach runes. So right here, we are. I don't even know what this what this is called. Uh, we're on our way to the uh, final area of the game. 
and um, we're using this machine glider, I don't even know what it's called, I totally forgot the name of this, uh, to get through these um, cat catacombs uh, type things. And if you hold down X uh, during the section right here, you actually are going a bit faster than uh, versus not holding X. Spam the shoot button like crazy, it's pretty fun. Makes it looks like like a straight laser beam. Alright. So here we're just gonna nuke this entire room. Whoa. <laughs> that looked funny on the CRT. Alright, and then right here there's um there's an out-of-bounce you can do, uh, out of bounds hover. And if done properly, uh, we should be able to get to the uh, uh, final area of the level. Alrighty, that's actually exactly where I wanted to go. I want to hit the. Um, I want to be higher up in the elevator um, as that loads in the lower part of the mission, like that. So that's why I pulled out that red gun. Concussor, as it's called. Oof, the save. <laughs> uh, hello? Alright, that was kind of scary. I almost fell off like twice. Um, I don't think you're supposed to take the, uh, the jetboard for that mission, but uh, we just do. I'm pretty sure a lot of people just straight up walk. <laughs> Right, and over here, um, that's already actually the, the final boss, kind of. Um, don't worry, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. And since we have all these boosts right here, uh, we are a bit faster around anyways. It may actually have been bad because I may have missed the gem on one of the on one of his feet. Not that's not too terrible either. We can cut up later. So you're supposed to shoot these, and we're actually gonna do that. Yeah, I may have to um, revert back here to a different cycle. I think we're good. Ooh, there's another one up here. And then the last one should be on this leg. Nice. Kind of saved it. That's great. And this is already the uh, the final boss of the game. It's, um, like I said, the game the runs pretty short. We're going to blast through it. Uh, you can use these concussor high jumps uh, to get up here faster. And um, you're supposed to kill each and every um, enemy of, on these platforms. But using a, a high jump and a concussor at the same time. It's gonna put you up just enough so that you can uh, climb the staircase. Actually, I don't need to worry about ammo here at all as we have infinite ammo. So I can just uh, go around and spam this gun like crazy. You can also stand in his laser, no problem. So uh, in the normal uh, any percent run, this fight has four phases, I believe. But in hero mode, it has six. So it's basically really long for no reason, because this fight isn't hard in hero mode at all. It's the exact same mechanics, just in a different order.
What's quite funny, this um, this boss fight makes probably uh, one-third of the run. <laughs> or one-fourth, depending on how good you are. You want to shoot these off as, uh, as fast as possible, that's the only way to save time here. You want to kill everything, clear everything as fast as possible. There's also another really easy way to complete this entire um, fight. You can just walk around using this weapon with the needle laser. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna find its targets all by itself. Essentially, you just gotta aim, kinda aim towards uh, where you wanna shoot. It's gonna take a very, uh, take care of everything. You just want to make sure you keep these up all the time. Yeah, as you guys see, the the fight of this um, the fight of the, this final boss fight is pretty long. Right? So, like I said, around six minutes. We're uh, halfway through the There's yet another phase to come actually, if I'm not mistaken. This is not his last phase. And although this is considered an auto scroller uh, to most people, uh, you actually can save time by uh, just completing the waves properly, killing everything as fast as possible. For instance, not letting this laser happen at all. That's my fault. Alrighty. For the last phase, I'm gonna use the, the, the needle gun here. Also, um, get get ready on time. By the way, time time is coming up. Time is coming up. Get ready on time. It's coming up. All right. So we're gonna kill this guy with style as soon as he does his third bong. We're gonna shoot the uh, the nuke. That should kill him instantly. And time. Oh, that didn't kill him. <laughs> that didn't kill him. Not time. There you go. Time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I uh, messed up. Sorry. <laughs> I messed up the. I messed up the timing here. Um, usually, um, on the the third bong, if you shoot the um, the nuke properly, that should instantly kill him. Um, didn't do it though for some reason. 
My bad. And we're on 24 minutes flat. Almost. 24? Oh, whatever. It's, it's 24. It's not, <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> and well, yeah, this is the, um, the final cutscene of the game. I think we can skip that, actually. Because um, there's a really funny thing you can do here at the end. You can... Uh, actually... Alright, so, really interesting thing here, I just, um, disabled, uh, or I just enabled the debug mode, and, um, if I'm not mistaken, you can, uh, activate, um, uh, free cam here, and, I don't, hold up a second. Ah, okay, I messed up. Um, maybe not. Oh yeah, I did mess up. <laughs> so there's a way to scroll up there so you can see what these guys uh, are actually up to. I'm hoping the game is not completely sped down now. Anyhow, now that debug mode's enabled, we can mess with the cutscenes and stuff. Bunch of furballs. That's yeah, really interesting, you can mess with these. Right, anyhow. Um, what I wanted to show you... Oh! Oh, we're already in, uh... Spiker City. This is debug mode, by the way. Uh, we have free cam enabled right now, we can fly around like we want. And we're pretty far out. Oh, interesting! This is where the, uh, the cutscene just taken place. This, this is, by the way, the fastest you can go in this game. Uh, it doesn't look it doesn't look that fast, really, but uh, it's quite fast once you see it. How fast is it going? There you go. This is the arena that the the cutscene just took place in. Um, yeah, all the characters are gone, sadly. Anyhow, I think we're kind of stuck here, are we? No. All right. We did complete the game, though. Um, I want to go back to the uh, the scene player real fast. I wanted to show you something really silly. Uh, there's, I hope, I hope there's the cutscene at the end. No, there's not the credits. Um, because um, you can actually crash the credits, but I think because I um, enabled debug mode. Oh no, you can just go into the model view here. here there you go. Um. This is what the, the credits usually look like at the end of the game. That's just part of the package, baby. Um, this is who I am. I just gotta reach down inside and... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, so you can uh, load in several characters at once. Like, uh, this is here, so you can uh, check out each character, and it's gonna give you a quick voice line. But that would also scroll in the background um, as the cutscenes, as the, um, the credits happen, I suppose. Oh, well, it's really interesting. If you uh, if you do this properly, which I can for some reason, okay. Oh, there you go. You can load in several characters at once. Oh, honey, you couldn't handle me with less clothes. Whoops. Yeah, I love Jeff. Sorry. He's so supportive on the set. What a pro. Even with And we just um, just crashed the game. Yep. That's something really interesting you can do. Um, you can also do this in the cutscene at the uh, the credits of the game. Uh, really funny thing. Yeah, it's it's completely uh, completely frozen. There's nothing we can do here. But anyhow, that's uh, Jack Three uh, Hero Mode for you. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>